Hello again, everybody. Today I present to you a video focusing on 10 of my favorite heavy metal cassette tapes for my collection, whether it's based on value or rarity or just the love of the music on the tape. I'm going to present these to you right now. And as a side note, I'm not going to present any death metal or black metal genre stuff because I've already done a video focused on exactly those cassettes. So here we go. 10 of the greatest heavy metal tapes in my collection. So here we go. Here's the 10 tapes. And I'm going to start with this beautiful Metallica Whiplash cassette on the Megaforce label, 1985. And um, I would think if you wanted to try to find one of these online, you might pay 20 to $40, depending on condition. But yeah, this is in real nice shape there, Metallica. And then next... A great guy here, Pile Driver, with the album Metal Inquisition. Really nice dude. He's a friend of mine on Facebook, and uh, I've always loved his stuff. Kind of tongue in cheek, uh, funny, heavy metal. Uh, brilliant though, really brilliant in a lot of ways. This came out in 1985. Uh, this is around the same price range as the Metallica tape. I think you would probably be paying twenty to 30 for one of these, depending on condition. But yeah, great stuff. Uh, Metal Inquisition, uh, Witch Hunt, uh, just some really human sacrifice. Oh man, just some great stuff. And look at that cover art. Look at that cover art. You can't deny the metalness of that. Moving right along, another interesting character and not very common is Dr. Mastermind. A guy with a lot of puppets and a heavy metal haircut. Uh, this came out in 1986 on Shrapnel Records. And again, kind of funny stuff. Uh, obviously, uh, hopefully he has a sense of humor about this. And um, pretty hard to find. Uh, this would probably run you, not, not much, 10 bucks, but still, still hard to find. Uh, I believe I also have this on vinyl. But yeah, Dr. Mastermind, what a hoot. Now, one of my fave bands, Kiss. This is a really cool import from Indonesia, and it's the uh, very best of Kiss, 1974 to 1985. And it's in one of those cool hot weather, hot climate uh, cassette cases that supposedly protects the cassette from heat. And these import cassettes are, are pretty, uh, it's pretty common for them to have no graphics. Uh, showcasing what band is on there. Pretty common. But yeah, great condition. My friend Sophia uh, got me this, and I really appreciate it. On the team label, again, out of Indonesia. And I'm thinking if a KISS fan wanted to find one of these online, you might be paying 50 to 60 bucks for something like this. But yeah, beautiful cassette with the metallic gold ink there. Very cool. Okay, good friend of mine, John Michael Thor, also known as Thor the Rock Warrior. This is his very first release, uh, album release called Thor Keep the Dogs Away. Uh, it was on the RCA label. This is a Canadian cassette. Uh, very hard to find. Old paper labels on here. Uh, Thor has been doing glam, rock, hard rock, heavy metal, since 1970s, and he continues to do so. If you wanted to find this gem of a Thor collectible, you'd probably be paying 25 to 40 bucks for it, uh, especially in this nice condition here, 1977. But check out Thor if you're unfamiliar and you like rock and roll of any kind. He's pretty cool. And continuing on the Thor theme, I had to show you this great Unchained cassette here, and this is from France. And... Uh, See the uh, cool blue ink on the white shell there. Uh, very nice condition. This came out in 1984. Uh, you'd expect to pay 25 bucks, probably something like that for this. Maybe a little more, especially in this condition. And oh, by the way, I have the same French cassette sealed. So yeah, this would probably go for around 40 uh, or more. Uh, in this condition. Thor the Rock Warrior, great friend of mine and a super cool guy. Next, very rare, 
intergalactic metal is what they called this by a band called Prowess Way. Prowess Way. They were from Cary, North Carolina, I believe. Uh, 1993, this came out. It's a three-song EP on, uh, on cassette, Intergalactic Metal Incorporated Special Promotion. But yeah, a friend of mine, Ed, is in this band or was in this band. Uh, he helped me do my Little Marcy video recently. You could check that out on my channel, my Little Marcy record collection. Yeah, Prowess Way. Great stuff, though. I've always enjoyed this. I have this on CD. Uh, well, it's, a, it's more than three songs, the CD version, but Prowess Way, quite hard to find. Um, and uh, I would suggest that any metal fans check this out. Intergalactic Metal. Really cool stuff. And who knows? I think if you wanted to try to find that, uh, it'd be expensive because those are very rare. I'm going to guess 50 bucks or more, um, especially in sealed condition. Now here, uh, another person I've uh, interacted with in my lifetime, The Great Cat with her Worship Me or Die album, 1987, in beautiful sealed condition. And uh, great songs on here, Metal Messiah, Cat Obsessed. She was uh, known for being a classically trained musician. She could play uh, violin, guitar. Uh, and uh, she did kind of like uh, classical music-influenced harsh heavy metal. And she's so vain and so egotistical, and that's part of her shtick, and she's just awesome. I love The Great Cat. And uh, if you wanted to find something like this in sealed condition, 20 bucks or more, I'm sure. Uh, again, 1987 on the Road Racer label rather than Road Runner, Road Racer label. Yeah, Great Cat, all hail the Great Cat. All right, two more to go. This one, another favorite band of mine, Guar, with their debut Hello release. This is the Shimmy Disc version on cassette, 1988. Uh, probably about a $20 cassette if you want to try to find this. Look at that cool red ink on the clear shell. Um, Guar was a favorite of mine, and um, I actually kind of followed them on tour during uh, their, their album tour, uh, Scum Dogs of the Universe, which came out the year after this, 1989 or 1990, I think it's somewhere around there. Um, yeah, if you wanted to find this, yeah, like I said, about 20 bucks. But Guar, great. I've seen them live many times back in the day. Got a lot of guar blood and semen sprayed all over me, and it was great. Now, this band, Havoc, this is a very rare uh, demo or, uh, you know, introductory cassette that they released. It's a band, um, I believe they're from North Carolina. Uh, a friend of mine named Benny Orell was in this band. 1988 six-song demo. Um... Now, they reissued this stuff plus other stuff on a CD called Back for the Kill in 2016. And that CD, the reissue CD that came out just a few years ago, sells for $30 or $40 uh, regularly. So I don't even know what this would be valued at. Probably quite a bit. I'm going to guess I might be able to get $50 to $100 for this, for the, for the right heavy metal collector. But Havoc, yeah, great stuff. Uh, some of it kind of standard hard rock, heavy metal. Some of it leans more towards, I think, like a, a Bon Jovi sound, if I'm not mistaken. But there they are in all their 80s glory. Havoc, ladies and gentlemen. Love it. Um, so that concludes this portion of my heavy metal cassette collection video. And I want to thank you guys for the subscriptions, for the thumbs ups on the videos. I'll see you next time.